Shall we dance? That's right. We're going to be ranking every single, well, not ranking, but rating every single one of Nero's moves. Uh, God help me if this video does well and I have to do the same thing for Dante, but let's go ahead and just start. A uh, couple caveats here, a couple rules. So we're going to be rating them based off a few things. Uh, usefulness, uh, coolness, and general... So I'm not a professional player by any means. Uh, I've been playing these games for a long time, but I'm not Don Guri or anything. So while I am aware of how useful some moves are in like a stronger player setting, uh, I still can't fully give input on that. Uh, either way though, uh, I think we're good to go. We can go ahead and get started. Oh, and one last thing. I'm not going to be rating, rating like every individual uh, strike of a combo. Like I'm not going to be rating like the second hit of this com of like, you know, Red Queen combo A, you know. So uh, with that all out of the way, um, let's get started. So first, I figure we ought to start with, like, some of the only, like, unique movement options Nero has, and that's his triple jump. Uh, I really like the, just the flurry on this animation. It looks way more unique than, like, the double jump other characters get. And you get to glide down, he gets the wings on it. It's really cool. I like it a lot. Um, honestly, for a triple jump, I think it's a 10 out of 10. I don't see how it could be any better. And it's usefulness, it's a triple jump, you know? You get as much mileage out of that as you want. Uh, alright. And then there is his, I don't even know what these are called, but he has a unique dodge after using a move. Yeah, you see those? Um... I think Virgil has a better version of this where he teleports behind the opponent. Uh, this isn't bad. I like how spry Nero looks in it, but I don't think I can give it anything more than like a 5 out of 10. It's fine. Also, you might notice a few mods on Nero here. I just, they're just cool. Uh, all the mods can be found on uh, Nexus mods. Uh, since it's only like two that you'll be seeing here, I can go ahead and try and link them in the description. So go ahead and look for them there. Alright, let's go ahead and start getting into the actual moves. Alright, so we got Red Queen Combo A. Yeah. That's pretty standard. Um, in context, like, compared to, say, Rebellion Combo A, there's a lot of differences here that really show off Nero's character here, you know? Like, he really swings this thing, you know? It's, it's not nearly with the same precision that Dante, you know, approaches enemies with. He's really wildly swinging the sword around. It, it, it lets you know a lot about the character just from the outset, you know? Uh, usefulness, it's it's fine. Um, I use it more often than like Rebellion combos, I suppose, or combo A, but it's still not like, you know, it's not blowing me away or anything. It's not the best moves he has or anything like that. I'll give it a like a 6 out of 10. And there's nothing really unique going on here with the, uh, um, exceeds, exceeds. Like, nothing really crazy going on here with that. If there is something unique about an, uh, an exceed version of attack, I will highlight it. So, Red Queen Combo B. Now, this one... Now that... I can't help but give that one a 10 out of 10. I, I know it's not the most useful thing, but DMC is known for its uh, multi-hitting attack moves. It, they're, they're like million stabs in, in the sort. Every, every character has one somewhere, right? And for Nero, like the sheer frustration coming out of him here, just straight up angry, just slamming the shit out of the opponent here. It's great. It's such a great... Great, great, great show of character here. They did such a good job. Oop. They did such a good job showing off what makes Nero unique compared to Dante with this move alone. And then the pose here at the end. Such big dick energy. You have to love it. You love to see it. My man has a massive cock and he knows it. And he's gonna let you know. Uh so Red Queen Combo C. Now 
Of almost any move in Devil May Cry, as far as just standard attacks go, this one stands out to me as uh, crowd control, you know? Lots of circles going around here. I use this combo all the fucking time. Like, all the time. Like, if there is more than one enemy anywhere near me, I'm popping this one out. It's, it's, it's definitely my favorite, usefulness-wise, at, at least, for Nero's moves, uh, of his standard combos. Uh, it, it's, it's not quite the same characterization as uh, combo A, or B, rather. I don't know, you know what I fucking mean. Uh, so I don't think I can quite... I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10, I suppose, but I use it all the time. And then combo D. So, to be perfectly honest, I, I would give it a higher rating in DMC4 than in this game, because... Well, it, it, it's weird, because while I do think the effect it has on the enemy is more interesting in this game, because in this game, it kind of bounces them, which that, that's a good visual indicator, while in the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, while in DMC4 it gave more of a hard knockdown. Uh, the, 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 his sword glowed in, in, in DMC4, and here you can't even tell... The difference here, you don't even realize that he's doing something different most of the time. Uh, so I, I, I'm gonna give that one like a 3 out of 10, honestly. I don't see anyone ever using it, especially in high level play. Uh, so, oh my god, what is this move called? <laughs> so hard way, which is the one that happens when you hold the triangle button, or the Y button. So, I don't use this a lot. And that might be a mistake on my part, because now I'm seeing my man flies. He he goes further than uh, Streak easily. Like, he, he is going far. Still, though, um, let's see what happens here. So it only uses one stock of XC. Nothing different really happens. Um, it's cool. It, it, it's it's another good move to add for him. Me, personally, I think for DMC6, if Nero comes back as if he wouldn't, uh, I might change this move. I'm not really... I'm not committed to it by any means. I don't love it. Uh, it's not lame. It's unique. I, uh, I'm gonna give it like a 4 out of 10. I, I don't really care for it that much. Alright, um... So let's go ahead and do the command normals. Uh, so of course we have Streak. Now, Streak is our first example of a move that's genuinely changed by having Exceed Gauge, right? So first, we can hold it and just have him be ready up. It doesn't add, add any damage or anything, but it's just cool. And then, just letting him go, he can barely control the power that he has there. It's great. I, I love that. That's, that's awesome. Uh, that alone gives it a lot of points in my mind. But just the base version on its own is honestly really, really good, because it's better than Stinger, you know? Because it's he slashes, he does a horizontal slash, so it has a bit more crowd control elements than Stinger. Um, the only thing Stinger has over it would be, like, its Devil Trigger version, and, like, that's that's just whatever, you know? So, like, Streak, I, I'm gonna have to give... Honestly, I'm gonna have to give that, like, a... You know, considering there's this version... That's got to that's got to be a 10 out of 10 for me. That's that's a perfect move for Nero. All right. Um and then we have of course the launcher. I think it's called high roller. Um it, it it sure is a launcher. You can hold it and go up with them. It's literally no different from what Dante's been doing for uh 20 years now. Um I don't think I have a single thing to say about this move except for look at me go. Look at me go except for uh the for this version see that's awesome that's awesome he goes so high in the sky you know it, he goes so high in the sky and it's so cool and he's just spinning round and round it's great and the non launch it the non going up with them version is also really cool because he strikes three times you know it's really cool I, use, I like to use that move a lot on like the big pig enemies I forget what they're called um, so the XC version does gain at points, but it's still, other than that, just a normal ass launcher. So that's going to be... Because of the XC version, I'm bumping it up to a 5 out of 10, but it's really nothing special. Uh, 
Although I guess it is like one of Nero's only launching moves, so its usefulness does. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do 6 out of 10. We'll do 6 out of 10. Alright. Uh, that one. I'm not, I'm gonna stop naming them because I don't even. Back forward melee, right? <sighs> Fuck it, I'll name it. Shuffle. So, this, you've, this move had more professional use in DMC4 because it gave you momentum. And you saw players use it all the time for that, high level players, because it gave Nero, it's, it was a combo starter, really. And they wouldn't even do the whole combo, they wouldn't even do the whole move, they, they do that. Uh, just stop it halfway through and Nero would then have momentum that they could use for wacky shit, right? But because momentum doesn't work the same way in this game, much to a lot of people's, uh, you know, I, I've started using it more lately just uh, to try and do a cool dodge out of the way and then hit the opponent, but still, if I need to dodge, I'm just gonna dodge, you know? Um, back when Nero had less options, uh, this was a good way to just keep the moves rotated to keep the style meter going up. Um, I don't think it's- look at me go. I don't think it's all that useful, to be honest, nowadays. I mean, it has invincibility frames, which is great. And the, the EX version is very cool. I like the double swing there, the big Y baseball swings he's doing. But honestly, it's its usefulness really brings it down. I'm gonna bring it down to like, uh... Fuck, I gotta give it a 4 out of 10, bro. It's really not that helpful of a move to use. Alright, let's do some air combos. So that is just called Aerial Combo 1. Now, this... That's a good-ass Aerial Combo right there. I dare say I prefer it over Aerial Rave. Uh, it's just everything you want out of a standard Aerial Combo, you know? Slams them back down to the ground where... They're set up for a follow-up attack, mind you. But we don't gotta talk about that yet. Uh, it's just... And, you know... I know this doesn't sound like much nowadays, but it is on the melee button, not on the style button. Which, that was a big deal back in DMC4, because it's like, oh my god, I don't have to switch to Swordmaster with Nero to to do my aerial combo, thank fucking god, right? I, believe me, people appreciated that a lot back in the day, and boy do I tell you, I sure did. Still though, it has a lot of usefulness on, usefulness on its own. There's a lot of jump cancel uh, opportunities here. Very easily jump cancel. That's very that's fun. That's very helpful for people. Honestly, I just it's not the fanciest thing in the world, but it sure is just damn good. So like, I, I, I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. There's nothing crazy about the EX version, so I don't really need to show it. Now, this one, though. Roulette. Alright, so this move right here. This was the very first aerial pause combo in the series. Maybe in the world? I don't know of an action game that did other aerial pause combos, right? If you can name one, please let me know. That'd be awesome to know. But, like, I believe Nero was an inventor in, in, in this field, and boy, is no it an iconic no one. Raises the opponent, raises you in DMC4, it, it literally carried your momentum. Like, this, this is just peak right here. And here's a quick tip for, for watchers out there, for beginners. If you're gonna learn exceed timing, this is the one to learn it with. This is because you're gonna do this all the time. You're gonna be doing this move. Every Nero player does this move. Nero players are unique a lot of the time. You know they they do things different from each other. They all do this move because it's just it's just great. But like if you if you're trying to learn exceed timing, do it with that one. That is the one to do. And just the. The, the colors on the circle of his spin, oh, it's peak. It's just peak. I love it. I just love it. I... It's not the greatest thing in the world, right? I'll give it a 9 out of... No, nah, man, come on. This is one of Nero's signature moves. I gotta give it a 10 out of 10. Like, come on. Maybe I'm being too generous with the ratings here, but to be fair, a lot of Nero's moves have to be really good because he's a lot more limited in his moveset. 
Uh, Alright, so then we have... We have... Air Stinger! Uh, God damn it. Payline! Payline. It's called Payline. Um, this was a very welcome addition to Nero's moveset. Everyone saw this in like the trailers or, or demonstrations and shit and just simply pogged. Like there was no contention with this move. Everyone was just like, oh yeah, he needed that. This is great. Uh, does, does it have a uh, level 3 or is it just... Oh, it does, but it does like, it's like nothing different. Uh, well, still usefulness wise, it helps Nero's... What do you call it? It helps his movement a lot, it helps him get around the screen a lot easier. Uh, not the coolest thing in the world, I will say, it has a lot of deflection frames, if not the whole thing is just deflection. Go try and... Go use it against Virgil's, uh summon swords, the, the one that he shoots directly at you. Uh, Virgil's gonna have a bad time if you do that. It's great. But, uh, yeah. You know, it's just really helpful. I, like, I got no complaints with it. Uh, I like the pose he strikes while doing it, without a doubt. 7 out of 10. Okay. That. Um... It, it, it is it is the same move that everyone else does it's it's the classic Virgil uh, it terrorized Marvel 3 y y all know the deal the only thing to note about it is no its exceed version no he does strike in a unique move in that he does strike a unique pose in that version and really uh, carries the opponent down with him then uh, t I, I know what I can do I know what I can do Yeah, see, there you go. It, it is very cool to do it that way, but still, nothing too crazy. Um, I'll give it a... I'll give it a 4 out of 10. It's really nothing insane. And then we have... Other Air Stinger, the one that was in the other game, but... Fuck me, this is really useful. I love this move. I use it all the fucking time. I think every Nero player does does this. And then, you know, how this goes a long way. It goes a long ass way, man. <laughs> uh, it this is just essential to Nero, honestly. It's like. Carrying you across the arena in the midair is really cool looking. The big slash, the usefulness of it, uh, I, it could be a little, god, I don't know. I because of the usefulness of these moves, I want to give them 10 out of 10s, but they can't all be the coolest thing ever, right? So I'm a, I'll give it, I'll give it a 9 out of 10, but god damn, I feel bad about doing that. Alright, we got all the Red Queen moves, aside from the supers, but we'll save those for last. Alright, so then we have um, Blue Rose, his sig Nero's signature gun. So we have the normal shot. Um, I might be biased here because I remember how it was in DMC4, and it was pretty much just a slightly slower version of Ebony and Ivory, right? Very standard. So, coming to this, the gun feels like a goddamn cannon, you know? It, it, it feels like a genuine cannon. However, no one uses the standard shot because you can just color up. Now, if it felt like a cannonball before, now it really does. Like, god damn. The sound design alone deserve the sound design alone deserves an award, man. This shit is good. Um as far as a gun goes. On your first playthrough, you will really be using cover-up a lot. Uh, so I'll give that. The thing about it, though, is is it gets... Th those three shots get completely eclipsed by charge shot. So their usefulness goes completely away. So... Uh, there's... This is only on how cool they... On how cool these gunshots are. I'm, I'm, I, I can only give it like a 4 out of 10. But then, so we have the three levels of charge shot. Uh, it's, it's good. Like, that alone would, would be pretty good. But, um, to be honest, charge shot's level one and two. No one uses 
ever, so they're both gonna get like a 5 out of 10. Because they're just actually... There's no point. Like, they're cool on their own, right? But it's the level 3 that matters. And then, no <laughs> and then, of course, the uh, the delayed explosion is awesome. Now, charge shot is integral to Nero's move set. It always have been. It always has been. So I, can, I, it's really cool too. <laughs> and like, it blows him back in the air, as I'll show you. Like, come on, that's so cool. Just the sheer force of it. It's awesome. Shit. Still. Eh. Eh. 9 out of 10. I'm giving too many 10s. It's just... These are good, man. These are good moves. I like Nero, okay? I, I like him a lot. Anyway, I forgot about his dropkick. So there's that. That's cool. <laughs> uh, it's funny. I give it a 7 out of 10. Not very useful. Alright. So that's Red Queen and Blue Rose out of the way. Now let's move on to, uh, Buster Arm. Well, I mean, we can just... So, we have Standard Buster. You don't get this till New Game Plus. This was Nero's whole thing in DMC4. Now it's still a big part of his moveset, but, uh, not so important that... I mean, it's a big but It's still important, right? It's still important. I mean, it was, everyone popped off when they could do this again. So, of course, Nero's got his famous command grabs. Uh, you get a different animation per enemy. You have different things you can do to the enemies during them, like mashing here it does more gunshots. Awesome. Uh, you even get air variations. You get a lot of damage on that shit. It's, um... And it changes during Devil Trigger as well. I guess I can show that. See, instead of three shots, you get five shots. Uh, simply... I mean, like, what do you want me to say? Like, it's it's Buster. It's a 10 out of 10. Like, come on, what, are you crazy? Like, it's, like, Nero's best move. It, it, like, and the amount of work that has to go into making it work with any every enemy, all those unique animations against bosses, too. Virgil has, like, six unique things you can do to him with it. Like, come on, it's great. It's, it's Buster. What do you want me to say? But Buster's got a few other things going on in this game. So, something it's shared with um, DMC4 is Snatch. Now look, Snatch may not be the coolest looking move, right? Even if it has two variations in this game, right? Uh, that is functionally no different, except during Double Trigger, this can grab two enemies at the same time. Uh, so that's cool, but like, really we just care about Wire Snatch. Listen, Wire Snatch is the re- Snatch? Nero's Snatch is the reason he works. Is the reason every character action game models their character after Nero now. I mean, look at Hi-Fi Rush. It's literally just Nero playing guitar. Like, this... I'm gonna show you exactly why this matters, right? So the enemy's over there. You Stinger. Now as Dante, you go... Well, now what? I guess I can Trickster over there or something, but... There's... It's a lot of work to get the combo start flowing again, right? Unless you're really moving the fingers. But with Nero, just come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. You see why this matters? You see why everyone loves this? Snatch is the reason people like Nero. Snatch is the reason I like Nero, for fuck's sake. Uh, I can't but I can't give it but a 10 out of 10. It's Snatch. Functionally, it- functionally alone, it is a 10 out of 10. You know? I- It's Snatch. Okay. So, let's, um... Nero has one new thing. One new thing on, thing on that button, on, on yeah. this button right here. And it's- It's kind of hidden, but boy is it useful. So... I just showed you this interaction, right? Well, what if we could save a little more time, right? Oh my, what was that? It seems Nero's wing is doing a little punch there. 
when I'm busy with an animation. See, whenever Nero is in an uncancelable animation, if you press the buster button, he does a little punch. While you're in double trigger, it does two punches. And like, dude, you saw me do a combo earlier. That's the reason that works, is because of that goddamn... Oop. It's just... It's... It's what makes Nero kind of ridiculous in post-game to try and master, because it's like, how many buttons and triggers do I need to press per move, you know? Because, like, what? I have to be holding down gun. I have to exceed... I... I have to exceed with every goddamn move, and I can also be doing the punches too. Like, this character is ridiculous. He's too cool for a controller. Uh, simply peak. Again, usefulness alone, uh, I want to give it a 10, but it, it's harder to use and more situational, I suppose, but it, it can also be used to create so much more cooler situations. Fuck it, dude. Fuck it. 10 out of 10. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... Come on. It's also really cool because it's very JoJo-ish, you know? Like, damn, I wish he had this in DMC4 when he still had the stand. Because, like, if the stand came out and swiped, that'd be so Jotaro or Polnareff, I guess, ish. That, uh, awesome. Uh, right. You can hold the enemy. Um, you know... This has its limitations on usefulness. It can help you cheese style rankings because you can just hold the last enemy and taunt in front of them. Especially with your dance taunt. But you know, it's fine. Not the most useful. Um, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. It's fun. Alright, now we can just move on to the Devil Breakers and Devil Trigger stuff and we're good. So, Overture. Now... Big, just big damage alone is already pretty cool. Big ass hand shape too, very cool. Love the sound design on it. Very great as the standard default breaker. But what sets it above for me is, uh, it's situational. It has context sensitive attacks. Uh, depending on where the enemy is. And I literally just discovered this. Y'all see that? Y'all see that multi-hit version, right? What is doing that? I've never done that before. Like, what is that? I, I don't know. I actually don't know. I don't even know how I really activate it. Just sometimes when I mash it, it, it does it. Like, I have to buffer it in bef uh, during another move. It's weird. Cool, though really cool it like doesn't even send him away i don't think either way though uh the attack itself great um like its usefulness is mm, i love it as a more casual i mean i'm not a casual player but i'm not as serious as i could be i'll give it an eight out of ten and then we have the charge uh Bomb. It, it is a bomb that attaches to the opponent. It can go off on its own, or you can You're shoot them dirty. to make it go off. You're disgusting. Um, really weird to give to the default arm. Like, I feel like most people aren't gonna know what's going on during that. I mean, it's it it's simple enough, but you'd think it'd be more like one of the supers of Gerbera, right? Either way, though, it, it's it's still cool. Um, I, I give that a I give it a six out of ten because it's not the coolest thing. In the world. So Gerbera default. So we have we have that, of course, right? We have just the normal one. I don't see people using this a lot. It does it can like parry. And I've seen some I've done some really cool parries with it. But it's it's still, you know. It's not that useful. But then you have the dodge, right? And and giving Nero effectively his own tricker trickster dodge. It's it's really helpful to be honest, like Every time I fight Virgil, I'm pretty much just using this arm. And you can even jump- you can jump cancel the attack. 
uh, which is really cool <laughs> and really fun. Uh, usefulness and I mean, it's a cool looking dodge. Like, look at the way he uses it. You know, it, it's it's cool. It's definitely cool. The flips he does when he does a backwards one. Uh, you gotta give it to him. He's using it well. Um, shit, I'll give it a I'll give it a nine out of ten. You know, it's 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 everything you'd want it to be. So two charge, two charge shots. Uh, not not shots, but two breakages on Gerbera. First we have the Kamehameha. So that could have been a 10 out of 10 if it was good. I swear to God, that does not do enough damage. Like it, it's insane how little it does and how long it takes to even do the damage. I, it's the most unfortunate like seven out of 10 I could possibly give, right? But I never use it because it's damn near useless. So since we, well, we're here, let's do, let's talk about uh, breaking the arm. That's not good. Okay, that did it. Um, effectively useless once you get um, Devil Trigger. Uh, it's a cool explosion. It gets you away from shit, but uh, let's be honest, y'all. It's 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 really not. It's really not all that. <laughs> like, what do you want me to do? Give it a fucking nine out of ten? No, it's like a two. Uh, and then the air, there's, there's the air super for Gerbera, which, this isn't a great environment to show it off in, but when you're in an enclosed space, the lasers bounce. And like, honestly, it's really good. It's very useful. It works very well. Love it. Uh, I gave it a 8 out of 10. No, a 7, because it's not that cool. It looks better when you're in an enclosed environment, but it's helpful. It's very helpful. Always do that one if you're going to do a super. So punchline. Everyone loves this one. Very easy to use. It, it's just doing its thing, you know, over there. That alone is great, because its DPS is actually kind of nuts. Uh, but then, of course, like, come on. You can ride it like Dante did, the missile in DMC3. Like, Nero is air skateboarding right now, like the punk he is. And it has moves. Oh. <laughs> Do you. Should I rate each of these? I guess I might as well. Um. I'm not rating them. I'm just counting them all as one move. And, like. Yo. It's a 10 out of 10. Come on. Like, come on. What do you want me to say? He's fucking skateboarding in the air with the arm. It's. It's perfect. And then there's the super. They wanted to give Nero a Shin Shoryuken, and they did that. Uh, 10 out of 10 would do it, would abuse the shit out of. He also does it downwards while he's in the air. I don't feel compelled to show that. Helter Skelter. Uh, it breaks armor. Um, I don't know how often people have trouble with that. And the move itself doesn't look all that cool. Um. That's a two right there. I don't care about that move. The super's good though. You, you see pros use it all the time, and it's very Pierce the Heavens, Gurren Lagan, Roro fight the power. I like it a lot. Um, I don't use it a lot because I don't use that arm a lot. But uh, I, I give it a easy like seven out of ten. Tomboy. It's an install. It changes Nero's moves. Uh, so you have. Slashy slash, you can't lock on right now, so this is all you can do. The sequence itself is quite cool. Uh, it is effectively just him slashing back and forth, but the the flip at the end, it, it's cool. I like it a lot. Still though, eh, eh, eh. this arm itself isn't all that great. You, you never see people use it. Um, I give it a six. Uh, while holding the lock on button, you do get different moves. Um, that's cool. You can do it three times, or infinitely, I guess. Um, it's, it's, uh, four out of ten. I, I don't care. I don't like this on a lot. Uh, that's the error move. 
Um, that actually looks pretty cool. I'll, I'll give it a six. And this move, the spinning down. Now that one. That's cool. That's cool as hell. I, I give that one an eight. And then when you use the gun, uh, you go into Resident Evil third person mode. And you can charge the shot. Uh, this is fucking cool. Honestly, I prefer doing that over anything else because it just looks damn cool. Um, I give that a... I retract my statement before. The spin gives gets a 7 and the charge shot gets an 8. Uh, and the super on this is, uh, you, you just armored during it, you don't lose it if you get hit. Amazing. Awesome. Really, really cool. I, wow. I need it to run out now. And we have Buster Arm. Uh, very not different from the Buster moves y'all saw before. It does do a shitload more damage. Like, let's see if we can... Okay, so that did about 600, right? And that did like 300. So it does like twice the amount of damage. And the charge... Just... It's more damage. A lot more, to be fair. But, you know, it's... um. I don't see people use it a lot, because Buster exists. Um, I do admit the damage does help motivate me to use it, but, eh, you know, it it's not the same as always having it on you, so I'll give it a, a, a 6, 6 out of 10. Rawhide. This is the only uh, Buster with a pause combo, so this isn't it. Now, I talked about AoEs with, Rebelli with Red Queen combo, whatever. Uh, but this is a true area of effect. This is this is crowd control as hell. And I like it for that. I use it a lot. Uh, I have a damnedest time doing the pause combo. Never mind. I get it all the time. I'm kidding. Um, it's cool. It's, it's, it's useful. It's not the... Uh, 5 out of 10. 5 out of 8. I think the visuals could be a lot cooler. I will say, the, the super though? Swinging the enemy around? That's cool as hell. That's definitely cool. What the fuck is going on with my... Never mind. That's definitely cool as hell. Love that. Uh, and you can do an optional super interaction on um, the chicken boss with it. So that's that puts it above. That, the super itself, I, I it's probably my second favorite super. I, I, I give it like a 9 out of 10. Uh, and then Ragtime. Okay, maybe third favorite. So Ragtime... Um, slow motion, you know. The effect is cool. Uh, it does look good, honestly. I give... 7 out of 10. It is very cool looking. But, you never see people use it, because they'd rather just... Now, the sound effect was modded in, but... Like, just getting to Zawardo Wardo people, like, come on. Do I have to explain the appeal of that? Of that? Not okay. Come on, it's 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 time stop. Who doesn't love time stop? Uh, I'll go ahead and give that a. <sighs> uh, removing the modded in sound effect, I can't give it a ten out of ten. I'll give it. Is his arm bugging out? Is that a visual glitch? I think it is. Um, I'll give it a. Without the sound effect, I'll give it an eight out of ten. Still really good though. Uh, okay, wow, my sh that shit is going weird. Alright, just uh, double trigger left. So, I will count activation as its own thing because it launches and has a fuck ton of invincibility. Uh, it's awesome, like... Oop. See how useful that is? So yeah, that's good. Um, the activation itself, the, the particle effects on it... And it's usefulness, and the fact that he does a middle no finger, you know? No does he? <coughs> hey, he did in the cutscene. Um, what, probably one of my favorite Double Trigger activations, like, usefulness in the series. It, it was just as useful in DMC4 as well. Um, I just love canceling shit. Fuck. I love canceling shit with it. And just, like, you know, using the good shit. Where did Red Queen go? Okay. <laughs> um, 
so the uh, the activation I give a 9 out of 10. I'm not gonna rate the design because that's not what this video is about. So during Devil Trigger, every sword move gets the claws following behind. Those look really cool. I can't rate them all or something, but... Uh, just, eh, you know, I guess we don't have to talk about those. We can just talk about the unique moves. Um... The summon swords following the, uh, what do you call it? The, the gunshots, those are really cool. I love how they do different formations for the different charge shots. That's great. That's You're lovely. But, um, ah, fuck it, I give them a 4 out of 10, 5 out of 10, I don't know. They're cool. But y'all know what we're here for. We're here, we're here for the supers. So we got the less good one. I love the X shape, but I don't use it because it takes a long time to charge and it's not very useful. It's very cool looking, but I'm not going to waste Devil Trigger time by doing it. So I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. And then of course we have Nero's tried and true, true blue, level 3 if, or... If he does get into a Marvel vs. Capcom, this is going to be a super one of them, right? Nice. Showdown. Now that is a cool ass super right there. Very useful. Uh, everyone uses it all the time on bosses because it's hella cool. Um, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 because of the shit you can do during it, right? You got the punches and the summon swords, man. And he just absolutely whoops the enemy's ass. I like how he modified it for his new abilities. In the previous game, his stand was just the other sword happening during that, right? But this time, he, um... He gets a summon sword. Let's try and... Yeah, you can see it. It's really cool. Uh... It just fits his new design well. So yeah, that's, um... That's all of Nero's moves. Uh, wow. Uh, you know, like and subscribe. Uh, let me know if you want to see one for Dante. That one will probably be a bit more interesting and more varied. Uh, God help me if I have to do it, though. That's a big-ass moveset. But yeah, let me know. And um, I'll see y'all next time.